Eric, Eric, I'm late for the children's sermon. Oh, you big dummy. Hey, guys, I'm Pastor David. It's time for the children's message. Uh, if you've got children nearby who aren't already watching the uh, video or youth, call them over. Now's a good time because I've got something to share. Well, uh, I'm almost out of breath. I almost didn't make it. He wanted to go the other way. I don't know why. I've, I've been yelling at him for like 10 minutes. No, back to, the, back to the church, back to the church. Well, we're finally here now. So anyway, this is Eric, uh, my friend. He, he doesn't say a whole lot. But you know, when I first uh, came on, I bet you were thinking, whoa, wait a minute. And you know, that happens a lot in life. Things are not what they first seem to be. And we have to take a double take and you know, shake our head and look again and try to figure it out. What is going on there? Well, you, some of you probably uh, did that just a moment ago when I came on the screen. Well, our scripture lesson today is Jesus walking on the water. Now, he came walking on the water in the middle of the night, in the middle of a storm. Don't you think the disciples took a double take and a triple take? I mean, that was the last thing they expected to see. And yet, there he was. I'm sure some of them were thinking, he's standing on rocks. And some others were thinking, you must be really shallow right there. But neither one of those things were, were true. He actually came walking out on the water to the disciples. And in just a few moments, Pastor Doug is going to be sharing that scripture with us. And he's going to explain how that applies to our lives today and impacts our lives today. But just remember that, you know, sometimes things are not what they first appear. And so, yeah, it's all right to take a double take or a triple take so that you know for sure what's going on. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the children and youth that are watching this video. Lord, help us to be wise. Help us to always put our faith and trust in you. And when we see something that, you know, at first we just can't quite believe, help us, Lord, just to stand back and say, wait a minute, God might be up to something. Thank you that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Eric. Eric? Eric! Yeah, okay. Yeah, bye!